today i have a new year surprise for you let's see how i make my youtube videos on youtube so first let's see how i record these videos for showing my face and when i do the introduction and the wrap up i use the camera app to record that <coughs> so this is the camera app that i use to record the introduction of my videos so here i click on record and and that should start the video once i'm all done i find the video in camera roll so then i start recording i start recording my screen using obs studio screen recorder once i'm done with my recording i hit the insert key and stop my recording <coughs> Next thing I do is make my wrap up for which again I use the, the uh, for which again I use the camera app. Now I after that I edit my video. For that I use shortcut video editor. So let's open up shortcut. <coughs> so first I'll place the introduction of my videos and then I'll place the end of my videos i'll show you one of my recent projects i've just recently uploaded a video on happy new year i'm gonna show you how i did that and i'm also gonna show you another video i uploaded just yesterday be sure to watch that i'm also gonna include a link right over here so you can watch the video i recently uploaded before the new year video so here I have the highlighting mouse cursor part 2 video. I want it to open that. I'll click, I'll double click and that opens up my project. I'll close all these. So first I put my introduction. As you can see here is my introduction. Then I have my the main content of this video here. All I have is the main content. Sometimes I do cut the videos a little bit. Then I put the wrap up of the video and that's how I make my video projects. <coughs> so after that I didn't forget that I need to create a thumbnail. So I have few pictures of myself and then I go to remove.bg. This is a free website that helps you to remove your background and cl then click I click on upload image and i choose an image from my pic pictures and camera roll folder usually i ha i have the the this bunch of images i will select this one for now and click on open that does it that opened it up and uh, and it removes the background quite effectively though it has included my chair and also this portion of the door if you want to edit i'll click on edit and i want to erase so i'll just increase the brush size and erase this portion out of my face picture and now i'll also erase this portion near my finger yes it do, i do, i didn't do it very good but it's worth it now i want to erase this little hole here and then click on download and then i download the image let me show you a recent thumbnail i did using microsoft powerpoint so then i open up the powerpoint app here it is so here is microsoft powerpoint <coughs> this opens up microsoft powerpoint and i click on blank presentation that should open up a title slide as the first slide i don't want that so i right click here and then and then i right click and click on layout then i click on blank that should open up a blank slide which i can use for the designing of video now i'll click on insert and click on pictures then i'll click on this device which i have just 
down. And I'll go to my downloads folder and click on the picture I downloaded. I'll click on insert. This picture looks good. I'll just I'll just drag it over here and then a little more to the other side. That's done and now this is my thumbnail. But I'm not I'm pointing at blank air. I don't want that. So I'm gonna point at uh, the icon of a mouse cursor. So I'll click on pictures and click on online pictures. That says that opens up the prompt where I can load pictures. Where here it will start with please wait while you load pictures. Now I can choose my pictures. Now say I click on airplane. Now I'll just search for an image. Say mouse cursor. <coughs> That opened up a little image. I like this picture. I'll click on insert. That that downloads my picture, but it's a little too big, so I'm changing the size. Now it become became bigger. To change the size again, click on Control Z and change the size properly this time. Now here I've put that here, but I can see this unneeded text that says this photo by unknown author is licensed under uh, some random text i'll just click on delete for that now i put that a just where i want it to be and for the text i insert a text box i inserted a text box and i'll type in how to highlight mouse cursor part two i'm going to show you I'll make a thumbnail for the part 1 so I'll just delete the part 2 portion I'll type in 1 you may not be able to see the text don't worry I'll make it white so here I'll make the text white and I'll change the font to Arial black so this is Arial black and I'll change the font to 40 40 is what I use most commonly 40 looks that looks good now I want it to be in the exact center so I'll click on shape format and in near align I'll click on align center that aligns it to the center I'll move it to the top and that looks good that is a nice thumbnail for my part one video now now I'll click on file to save this and click on save as here I'll click on thumbnail I'll type that in and now <coughs> I'll go to my YouTube folder where I made my highlighting mouse cursor. Now I'll, I'll type in thumbnail and save it as a PNG file, the a portable network graphics format. I'll just click on save. I just I cl clicked on just this one, so it just uh, export this one slide. And even though I ha I have only one now let's see how i upload it on youtube i open up microsoft edge yes i don't use google chrome for my youtube uploading because i think microsoft edge is a fairly fast browser that for youtube videos now, now that opened up microsoft edge I'm sorry viewers but I'm not going to be showing my face in this video I'll click on and I'll type in S and that should show studio.youtube.com I'll hit enter and that opened up that should open up my YouTube studio YouTube creator studio <coughs> and this is the channel dashboard and here I can see my videos I click I click on content to change the thumbnail of a video I want to change the thumbnail of my first video so I'll click on details that opens up the details where I can change everything in my video the title the th the description and uh, and I don't want any chapters to be in this video now i ha already have a different thumbnail i'll click on options and click on change 
that should open up this prompt where I can change my thumbnail. I'll just head to the location where I saved my thumbnail. So here is my thumbnail. I click on thumbnail and click on open. That opened up the thumbnail and I'll click on save changes. Back in the the area let's open up youtube and see if my changes have taken effect <coughs> it says changes saved over here and i'll open up youtube.com here i have all these videos and i want to open up master technology geeks my own channel i'll hit enter the youtube.com now I'll search for my own channel, Master Technology Geeks. Now click on search and type in Master Technology Geeks. And here it gave me the option of Master Technology Geeks. I'll click on that. So here you can see the search query is being is being done here. <coughs> so that opened up and I can see my channel at the top. I'll click on that and let's see if the changes have taken effect. There it hasn't taken effect. Let's see why. If I refresh YouTube Studio and the editing of this particular video you, you i think you'll be able to see that the changes have taken effect but they will take time to show up on youtube the thumbnail has not has been changed over here let's see if it has been updated in the youtube so i've opened up my channel in youtube let's see if my changes have been updated So here it is that has opened up YouTube. Now here I can see my video but the changes have not been updated. As I said you m will see the changes in a matter of time. Let's switch to videos and see the videos that I have posted. So recently I have posted these five videos and out, out of all of them I think this video is my favorite so that is how i make my youtube videos and just as a final note i used shortcut the open shot video editor for making this video the other i used shortcut so that is how i make my video on youtube and uh, one big thing my video on how to highlight mouse pointer part one has gotten 99 views we are one more view to get that video to 100 views that is a big achievement